So we're more or less familiar with the relegation and the promotion system that exists within the pro-Swedish hockey system, as this is a system that makes Sweden really stand out on the international scene. The Swedish pro hockey scene also manages to stand out due to its teams that have international acknowledgement, like HV71, Frölunda, Vaxjö, Brynäs, Malmö, Modo, and many others. But one of these teams that I just listed has such an incredible story about how they got into their current position, atop the Swedish Hockey League, that it warrants a retelling. And that club is the Vaxjö Lakers. First off, how do you exactly say this word? Since I've heard a bunch of different pronunciations. From my understanding, it's either Vaxjö or Vekwa. Either way, I think I'm going to stick to calling them Vaxjö, since that's what I've always said, so there's that disclaimer out of the way. Second off, I want to thank Joe for helping me with this video. His channel information will be in the description below, so check him out. So why do the Lakers of Vaxjö stand out? Well, like all good hockey stories, we have to start with financial troubles, because what hockey team hasn't thought about liquidating its assets? In 1997, the Vaxjö Hockey Club filed for bankruptcy, and out of the ashes, the brand new Vaxjö Lakers were constructed except the Lakers had to literally restart. Remember the Swedish feeder system video that I had posted before? Well, back in that time, the Swedish feeder system only went down to Division 4, which is still incredibly far from the SHL. And when the Vaxjö Lakers came about in 1997, they had to start in Division 4, playing with the equivalent of really good beer league teams. As you could probably guess though, a team of professionals probably wouldn't hang around at this tier for very long. They played in the 4th division for one season in 1998 and 1999 where they won promotion after only losing one time in 14 games played. They did so good in the 4th division that they actually just skipped the 3rd division altogether getting placed in the 2nd division automatically. It took Vaxjö 2 years to get out of division 2 where in their promotion year they didn't lose a single time in 14 games. They also scored 161 goals in the 14 games too which averages out to an insane 11.5 goals per game. Following this trend of playing two seasons in a lower tier league, the Lakers played two seasons in Division 1, getting promoted to the Allsvenskan in their second year after another dominant performance that saw them losing only three games in the 2002-2003 season. The Vaxjö Lakers were absolutely throttling up the promotional leagues, as it only took them six years to go from Division 4 to the Allsvenskan. That's four leagues, technically, in six different seasons. And now, I'm going to pass off the next part of this video over to Bojo. I'll have his information in the description below again, so be sure to check him out. Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here, and thanks again to Hybrid for having me on this video. Now, where were we? As he was saying, the next eight seasons would prove to be much tougher than the previous six for the Lakers, not only because the Alvenskan teams are actually pretty good, but because the Vaxjö Lakers were struggling financially a little bit around 2008. I mean, who wasn't struggling financially in 2008? After that though, the chairman of the team sat down and came up with an economic strategy for the team in order to recuperate funds and keep that team afloat so that the Vaxjö Lakers wouldn't suffer the same fate as the old Vaxjö Hockey Club, especially after coming this far. Part of the strategy came from a slight ownership shuffle that involved purchasing larger shares in the team, but following this, the Vaxjö Lakers qualified for the Kovalosgren, which is the promotional playoffs to get into the SHL three years in a row. The third time turned out to be the charm as the Lakers won the right to be promoted into the SHL in the 2010-11 season. Going from nothing to the top league in the nation after only 14 seasons, the Vaxjö Lakers leapt from the fourth division of the Swedish Hockey League to the pinnacle league, the SHL. This wasn't good enough though. The Lakers were still hungry for more success and they got it. After only entering the SHL in 2011-2012, the Vaxjö Lakers won the Lamatt Trophy given out to the SHL champion in the 2014-15 season. Awesome, thanks for that Joe. Now within 4 years of joining the SHL and 17 years after starting from the very bottom, the Vaxjö Lakers had completed the ultimate goal for any team playing in Sweden. And they liked winning the SHL championship so much that they actually did it again, this time in the 2017-2018 season. 2017-2018 was a special year for the Vaxjö Lakers too. Not just because it marked their second national championship, but because it was the year that they showed themselves to the entire European hockey world. The Champions Hockey League is a key tournament in European hockey, and winning the tournament means European fame. Well in 2017-18, the Lakers actually managed to make it all the way to the finals of the tournament, where they eventually lost to finish side JYP. So all that Vaxjö really has left to win is the Champions Hockey League. The Vaxjö Lakers are a story of rebuilding and perseverance, and they're truly one of the most amazing hockey clubs in the world for what they've managed to do in such a short period of time. They showed that all it really takes is the right pieces and a dedicated support staff, which allows for any goal to be achievable. 
including winning the national title after being at the bottom tier of hockey only a few years prior. I hope you liked the video. Thanks again to Joe for helping me out, and I'll see you in the next one.